For today's demonstration I will be demonstrating how to set up the online enrollment at CIAS Learning Management System. But before we start, let me give an overview of today's demonstration. I will be demonstrating how the school will set up the online enrollment and how will the students enroll subjects online. To start the demonstration, I will first demonstrate the school site for the online enrollment. For the school side, the school user must first create a schedule for the enrollment within a certain period. And in order for a user to create a enrollment schedule, the user must navigate through Transaction, Enrollment, and select Schedule menu. Upon selecting Schedule menu, the system will present its user interface. Now the user must enter the enrollment schedule details. And for my demonstration, I will create a schedule for the senior high school student. Now I will set the level to senior high school. Then for the course text box I will leave it blank, since I want the schedule to be applied to all senior high school students. Do take note that if a user will input a course here at the course text box, the system will only allow the schedule for the specified course. But if the user wants the schedule to be applied to all students within the same level, regardless of their course, the user must leave the course text box blank. Now, next is the year text box, for the year the same method will be used, as explained at the course text box. If the user wants the schedule for a certain year only, the user can input a year here at the year text box. But if the user wants the schedule to be applied to all student regardless of the year the user can leave the year text box blank. And for my demonstration I will leave the year text box blank. Then next the user must select an option at the type, the user can set the enrollment only for regular, irregular, cross enroll, or extended. But for my demo I will set the type to regular. Next is the date of enrollment. Here the user must set the start date and the end date of the enrollment. For my schedule I will set the dates to March 1st until March 31st, but do take note the datas that I am entering are only examples, the user can always enter the data based on the school's preference. Now we will also set the period where the schedule will fall. For my demo I will set the period to second semester school year 2021-2022. Here at the bottom part of the user interface, do take notice that an option is given to the user, if the user would want to give access to the student or not. But since we want our enrollment to be online we will not check the disable student access. Unless we would be addressing manual enrollment. After the user has finished filling up the schedule, click save button to save the enrollment schedule record. With that we have successfully created an enrollment schedule. Now we will check if the student has access to the system. In order for a student to have access to the system, the user can create and activate an account for the student, or the student can use the login credentials that was given to the student upon the student passing the admission test or interview. Here is an example of a student who passed the admission of the school. Do take notice that the system presented an account for the student. But again to take note these are only examples of student datas. This is one way for a student to have an access to the system. Another method for a student to have an access to the system is through the school's user assigned to the activation of account. Now I will demonstrate the activation of student account. The user must navigate through transaction, activate account and select student access. Here at the user interface the user can manually activate accounts for student who want to have access to the system. Please observe as I activate an account. Do take notice as I select a student, the system generated a password, in which the user will give the password to the student, as the credential to access the system. Then click activate button to activate the account. Now let us try to log in the student account. Please observe as I log in the student account with the credentials that we have created. Upon clicking login button, the logging in is successful. Now the student has access to the system. Now for my next demonstration. We will shift to the student account to demonstrate how the student can select classes for enrollment. At the student account, the student must navigate through transaction and select enrollment. Upon selecting enrollment the system will present its user interface. This user interface will be used by the student to enroll classes online. 
Now the student must select Enrollment Data button. Upon clicking Enrollment Data the system will present its user interface with the student data for the enrollment. And do take notice the Enrollment Data user interface is disabled, except for the buttons, to avoid the student from creating unwanted datas. And here at the user interface the student can check his or her own enrollment data. But if ever a student would like the enrollment data to be modified or edited due to certain typo error or user error, the student must notify the registrar or the enrollment officer. For the enrollment data can only be modified by the school's personnel assigned to the enrollment of students. But if upon assessing no typo error or user error was found the student can close the enrollment data user interface. Now for the requesting of subjects, there are two methods that a student can do. The first method is when, the student will click auto button to automatically assign subject for the student enrollment. Do take notice, upon clicking auto button the system presented the subject for the student. At the right part of the enrollment user interface. For method 2, if ever the student want to select a subject but with a different section the student can do so, if and only if, the school will allow the student. And in order for a student to manually select a subject and section, the student must first select a subject and upon selecting a subject, the system will present the sections available, where the student can select what section he or she would want to enroll. For example I will assign my desired subject to section B. Do take notice at the enrolled subject panel, the selected section was reflected. With that the student has successfully completed the online enrollment. Now since the student has completed the online enrollment, at the school side the user must assess and validate the requested enrollment of student, if there will be zero discrepancies founded. In order for the student to be marked as officially enrolled. And at the student side, if the student want to check his or her enrollment status, student can navigate through reports and select enrolled subject. Do take notice the current status of the student is unofficially enrolled since the school has not yet validated the requested online enrollment of the student. Now at the school side, I will be demonstrating how to check or assess the requested subject and how to validate student enrollment. But first is the checking of requested subjects. The user must navigate through transaction, enrollment and select enroll menu. Upon selecting enroll menu the system will present its user interface. Now the user must search and select the student. Upon selecting the student the system will present the enrollment subject or classes request by the student via online enrollment. Let's say suppose the user approves the request enrollment of the student. Now since it was approved, the user must now validate the student enrollment. The user must now navigate through transaction, enrollment and select validation menu. At the validation menu user interface, the user must first enter the period of the enrollment. Then, the user can one by one validate the student by searching and selecting the student name, but if the user wants to validate all student based on a student level the user can do so, by leaving the student text box empty, while having a selected category at the level. But for my demonstration I will only validate the student that we have enrolled a while ago. Next the user must change the type to officially enrolled and check confirm checkbox to enable save button and lastly click save button to validate the student enrollment now at the student side the student status will be changed to officially enrolled with that our demonstration for the online enrollment is finished thanks for listening and have a nice day